You're doing? cooking them all wrong, Lee. I know what I'm doing! All wrong. You're burning the wieners, Lee. They were plump and delicious, and now they're just black and hard. I thought you liked them like that! Nobody likes them like that! This is deplorable! Who? Read a book, Lee! Preferably one about grilling. Uh, I'll, um, I'll just take a burger. I'm back, bros! Big Brother Rick! Little bro! Fellas, I would like to introduce to you Big Rick. He was my big bro in the frat house back in the day. Big bro in the frat house? Oh my god, Sunny's. Oh, oh, uh, yeah, this used to be a frat house. What? Got the craziest story for you. Every month, looked into my bank account, was running about two G's short. Figured, nah, I was blowing it on booze and babes, am I right? Went to check into it, figure out where the money was going and stuff. Turns out I was paying rent for the frat house the whole time. That's why we've been living here for free. Parents' basement's really bumming me out. Living with a bunch of rats down there. Figured I'd move back into the frat house. Showed up, turns out there's a bunch of little bros holding down the fort. We would never let you down, Big Rick. What's wrong with your drink? You need another one? What are you doing? You're, you're doing this. Hey man, why don't you introduce me to the new bros? Yeah, bro. This is my buddy, Lee Becker. Wait, hold on. Becker? As in Martin Becker? I don't know who that is. As in Martin Peckerhead Becker? What? Dude, that guy was like famous around campus for having the largest tip of a dick I've ever seen. His mushroom head was known throughout the SEC, dude. It's great to have you on, Peckerhead. <laughs> Who's this guy? Oh yeah, bro, this is Eric Striffler. Hold on. Striffler? Like Greg Striffler? That's my cousin. Yeah. Greg Stiffy Striffler? Well, that guy had the stiffest cock on campus. Oh. Seriously, I saw him with my own two eyes crack a walnut with his pee. Oh, uh, oh my god, what? Welcome aboard, Stiffy. Ooh, ah, what the fuck? It's part of bro life. So who's the hoe, bro? You guys aren't letting girls stay in the frat house, are you? Oh, who, me? Oh, no, I'm Brother Nug's slam piece. Nice, Brother Nug. Who's Brother Nug? Oh, shit, yeah, I forgot to mention Brother Nug. Mm -hmm. Well, where is he? He's inside, I'll go get him. He's probably out just fetching the uh, uh, keg. Fetch, fetching the keg. <laughs> nice, dude. Nice. Beer tax. It's warm. It's real warm. All right. What about the pledges? Pledges? Yeah. When do I meet the pledges? Uh, Monday night. Cool. Yeah, but that's when our show is. Uh, we invited all the pledges to the Crane Theater. Right. We didn't have room here. There's so many pledges. That's where we're holding our orientation. Yeah. Sounds fancy. Would not miss it for the world, guys. I'm gonna go unpack. <laughs> Can someone fill me in, please? We have to convince Big Rick that Pity Plus is still a frat house. But why? So he'll keep paying our rent, Lee. Yeah, but why did you have him come to the show? Because there's an audience at the show. They can be our pledges. Look, we won't let him see the backstage. We'll just take him in the basement where it kind of looks like a frat house. Throw up a couple of badass posters. He'll never know it's not a frat. Okay, yeah, I'm sure that will work. But what about, um, oh, Brother Nug? The girl in our fraternity? Oh, right. Bros, you guys didn't tell me Brother Nug was such a stud. Yo! <laughs> Sorry I'm late to the BBQ, bros. Just giving my homegirl the nug plug. You know what I mean? <laughs> right after she did the nug chug. <laughs> Who's ready for Monday? Dude, I gotta tell you. 2014, dude. Good year for us. Yeah, dude, a couple of guys were, you know, from the mountains, dude. A couple country boys, real big. Real big boys, could hold us down. Those guys could keg stand. As long as you could hold them up physically with the rest of the team. It took about seven guys to get them vertical for a keg stand. It's pretty fucking epic, dude. <laughs> You guys taking me. Right here. All right. Black Ops 3? Sweet. Black Ops 3? 
Nice, nice, nice. For real though, where did you find this bro? I love him. At the cool factory. Pfft, lame. Shut up, peckerhead. <laughs> no, but like for real, Nug, if you were a girl, I'm just saying, I would totally slam. Oh yeah, sorry man. Ah, oh, that's cool. <laughs> Thanks though, but I'm not gay. It's <laughs> totally cool. Yeah, but what about me, Rick? Uh, what do you mean? <laughs> I mean, little bro. Don't you want to fuck your little bro too? Okay, I'm uncomfortable. Uh, don't be lame, Lee. Yeah, listen to Stiffy. Could be in such a saggy dick. Uh, yeah, Lee. Nobody wants to lick a saggy dick. Oh, oh, oh nice one, Nug. Nice one, Nug. Yeah, Nug, 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 Nug. I am really starting to hate that guy. Who? Big Rick? No. Nug. Paul, you do realize that Sam is Nug. Oh, right. I don't hate Sam. Good. But I hate Nug. That's not better. Ladies and gentle bros, no pledge orientation would be complete without some music. So we're gonna kick things off with some freestyling. As suggested by the audience, this freestyle will be about karaoke! Strippers! We're doing pizza. karaoke with strippers. Nice. Two of my all time faves. Get the music. Feeling like there's a weird vibe in here, and like one of the bros in there is not a bro. 
We've all pledged, Rick. No, I mean like one of the bros is not a bro. You mean like one of the bros is a girl? Yeah, like one of the bros is a faux bro. Oh, I don't know anything about it. Okay, well like to make things even weirder, dude, I found a bra in the bathroom, so. You found a, another bro in the bathroom? No, a bra, bro. A bra? Bro, a bra. Bruh? A bra. A bro. A bra. A bra. A bra. Oh, why don't you just say brazier? That's fine. Wait, what? I mean, that's one of my. Oh, whoa, whoa, one of his trophies. What? Nug keeps the trophies of all the girls he's given the Nug plug. Oh, sick, oh. dude. Yeah, I do the same thing, but I could keep the new ranks. What? No, 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 I, I get it, I get it. I, I keep all of my used condoms on my windowsill. What? You fucking freak. But, but he keeps Nova rings. Not the same thing, man. Very different. Yeah, have some class, ass. Oh, rest of oh. 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 Yeah, ass. Rick, wait up. All right, listen up, Pledges. One of the most important things about bro life is discipline. To demonstrate this, Brother Nug and Brother Stiffy are gonna perform a serious scene, and every time they get a laugh, I'm gonna hit them with the ceremonial paddle, which has been handed down for generations. As suggested by the audience, this serious scene will be about- Eight. Eight. Whoa, total buzzkill. You've contracted a deadly disease. Less specific, that's more like it. Now pay attention, Pledges. There will be a quiz. How's it going, bro? Um, it's good. How are you? Doing fine. <laughs> All right, I, you, can, you can tell something. Yeah, I see it in your little doe eyes. Look, if I if I um if I tell you something, will you keep it to yourself. Lips are sealed. Um. Come on, baby boy, spit it out. <laughs> See, that's the, that's what I'm concerned about is that you're kind of yeah, I think I'm gonna take it seriously. Yo, 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 yo. I'm serious. You're already. I'm already concerned. But you can you turn this off? Yeah, it's on. <laughs> I'm turned off. <laughs> um. I just I went to the doc. I um. What's up, man? I I have an STD. Oh! <laughs> um, I thought I was being, I thought I was being safe. I we know. both did. Um... Uh, <laughs> um... I guess it was just one of those, you know, like one of a million things. Um, but I don't really know who to... Spit it out, man. That, I already told you, I have an STD. Do you want to know which one? Which ones? <laughs> feeling about this, but now I'm sure. One of you is not a bro. What? Yeah, you heard me. One of you guys in here is a faux bro. Like a girl. We need to go through the gauntlet of true bro tests. Bro tests? Yeah. Test number one. I'm gonna touch all your butts. And only a girl would have a nice butt. And only a nice butt is gonna give me an erection. He is definitely gonna find out that I'm a girl. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Butts out! 
Little, I know you're a true bro, man, but fair's fair, all right? Here we go. Uh, <clears throat> all right. Becker, let's take a peek under the hood. Oof. Stiffy! Uh, oh. mm. All right, Snugster. Nug, mm -hmm. you've got one of the most manly behinds I have ever grasped. Oh, thanks, man. All right, bros. That was just test numero one. Now the real testing begins. In order to determine whether the faux bro is Brother Lee, Brother Stiffy, or Brother Nug, the audience is gonna ask them questions about bro life, and I'm gonna evaluate their responses before I make my final judgment. Did you choose the bro life, or did it choose you? Oh, that's a great question. Does the bro life choose you, or do you choose the bro life? <laughs> Brother Pecker. Bro uh, Becker. <laughs> <laughs> no, bro. I think bro life it's a moral obligation. It's a lot like, like I say I'm pro-bro life. It's kind of like, like pro-pro life. So I would say you have to, you have to look at your other beliefs, bro, and see if it lines up with, with pro-bro. You know? Pro-brono. Pro-brono. You know, Stiffy, I know you want to give your advice. So I had I had dreams to go to art school. And my dad got sick and I was in, I was recruited into the bro life. I had to stay home. We drafted, Stiff. I was drafted. drafted. I was drafted, thank you. I was drafted into the bro life and I'm just, you know, I'm sorry. Don't fucking hit me. Brother Stiffy started off strong but got it kind of a little soft. I still paint. <laughs> Brother Doug, I'm sure you've got something very bro to contribute. Uh, always. Um, I know that I've been a bro all my life. Um, I, I, I just, I, you look at me and I know you know. Talk to um, the pledges, Doug. Right, um, I just had to decide when I wanted to be chosen by the bro life. Do you know what I mean? You know what I mean. Like, uh, like you feel the bro inside you, and you just have to get it out. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> There's something about another bro inside her, man. I don't know. <laughs> no, no one's making a lot of eye contact with me during that, so. Because he knows. All right, cool. <laughs> yes. Yo. How do you deal with the inevitable sausage party? Pledge Stiffy. How would you uh, remedy the inevitable sausage party? Go with the flow. Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Brother Nug. Um, sausage parties that I've been to, uh, they were, you know, Sweaty, like all sausage parties, and you must come with your own. <laughs> You're saying bring your own sausage, <laughs> brother Lee. I can't imagine your answer is much worse. Yo, bro. Sometimes you just gotta take one for the team. You know what I mean? Oh my god. That's what I'm trying. No, no. Hold on. That's not what you were saying. Oh, if many dudes don't know this, unless you spend enough time down there. We're used to it going like this. But let me tell you, you can pop it back in the other way, bro. <laughs> then all of a sudden, you're the minority at the party. And everyone wants to be you. You're the hero. Brother Lee, are you telling me you can shy turtle your sausage? <laughs> Turtles the shyest of them all, bro. <laughs> but he wins the race. So it's <laughs> Woo! 
let's do one more question from one of our bros to be. Yes, all in the back right there. Uh, if you and your bro are out at a bar and you meet two women and your bro goes with a pretty girl and then the uh, other girl's not so pretty, how far does a bro go for his bro? That is an excellent question. Two bros at a bar. Great joke so Two far. ladies. <laughs> two ladies as well. The math adds up, but the symmetry don't. One girl's pretty, the other one's eh. Ah. So, well, Paul's a math major. Nice. If your bro goes for the prettier one, what do you do? We'll start with you, Brother Nug. Um, yeah, well, that girl, those girls, uh, those bitches. And then bitches, those hoes, those okay. pussies. Okay. If you can't do two at once, uh, I guess judge them by their outfits and uh, you gotta, you gotta go. I mean, a pussy is a pussy, am I right? Hey. 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 So, what you're saying, Brother Nog, is that you have an improper fraction, you change it to a mixed number. Is that what you're saying? I'm, uh, you're confusing okay. me with the digits, man. It's okay. very possible that the ugly one is, uh, pretty cool still. Yeah! <laughs> we some ugly girls in the house, that's No, but for real, uh, she might, she might be cool, she might be smart, she might be, like, interesting to talk to. I mean, she's ugly, though, so fuck her, right? Oh, yeah. well, fuck it, fuck it, never mind. We're supposed to be giving bro advice to I know. Uh, our pledges. Okay, fine. Just get drunk enough where it doesn't matter, bro. Thank you! Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. All right, bros. After much deliberation, I've decided that I know who the faux bro is. Oh God, this is it. It's you. What? what? Why me? Cause I walked in on you in the bathroom. And guy, stiffy pee sitting down. It's more comfortable. I don't know. Which means that Stiffy's a faux bro. No, bro. You are hereby banished from all fraternity gatherings. Come to the horse races with us at the end of the month, and also from the fraternity residence. You may go. But but Rick. Go, Fo bro. We all have been betrayed today. Oh no, bro. Live out the rest of your days, watching the notebook, wishing you were Rachel McAdams, pushing your strollers around, filling up baby bottles. You were no stiffy striffler of mine. Rick? Yes, brother Nug. Eric isn't the faux bro. What do you mean? I am. I don't get it. I I dressed up as a man. Let's see. Because you are a man. No, I'm not a bro man. I'm a low man. <laughs> Trapped in a man's body. No, no, I'm a girl. Stiffy is the faux bro. Rick, she's a woman. She is a lady. Okay, we knew it the whole time. Lil, how could you? I had no idea. This is your shirt. So where's the chick at the barbecue that you were banging? That's me. You're fucking yourself? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I fucked myself. I dressed up like a girl, then as a girl, dressed up like a guy to get more pussy. <laughs> Does that work for you, bro? Would I lie to you, bro? Ready. Alright, little look. I know you're a true bro, right? But fair's fair, dude. Alright, let's give her a squeeze. Alright, who's next? <laughs> Oh. Oh, Nugster. Oh. Oh. Nug? <laughs> <laughs>